When working on interior scenes, it's usually difficult to have the same exposure in the interior and the outs and the exterior, like you see in this scene. So if you're seeing this scene with this kind of exposure, then the outside would have to be overexposed or to have this kind of light in the interior or to be able to see everything here. So this, if you render this out as is, this looks a bit fake. What cameras, what you would expect to see with your eyes is something like this, overexposed exterior or with a, a normally exposed uh, interior because as you expose for the interior, the outside will become overblown or, or overexposed. Now to fake this, all you have to do is add a plane uh, like this and uh, give it an emissive material with a high value. What that will do is uh, give you the overexposed exterior. But what will happen is that uh, if you have any rays any, or any light that is coming from the outside and uh, it's not coming off uh, this uh, emitter, I first turn off these report visibility, okay, uh, pick. Yeah, so if you have any light coming in from the outside uh, and uh, say from the sun here, it won't be able to go through this because this is opaque. Uh, if you're using cycle, if you're using EV, all you have to do to make sure that the light is coming through the windows is go to the, set, to the material settings and turn off and change the shadow mount from opaque uh, to none so that a light can go through that. If you're using cycles, uh, let's switch to that really quickly. Uh, you have to, to make sure that the light is coming in. All you have to do is go to your object data, make sure you have the object, the emitter object selected and uh, go to visibility and make sure you turn off shadows. Otherwise, if you have that on, then that light will not come through. And uh, you can tell that uh, we don't see uh, these window window light coming through the windows to create these highlights here these here if we turn on our shadows for that so yeah